Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages that I get from Spirit for all of us who are all on this journey to love and to reunite with our divine vibrational matches in this lifetime. And it's just been a couple of days since I did a last video, and I can't remember if it's two days or three days, or I know time is just a weird <coughs> thing at the moment. So I am going to pull a card from the Enchanted Map. And then I'm going to read the corresponding letter from my Divine Love Letter books. All channeled messages between people's twins and their higher selves. And um, just, you know, an amazing way to stay on track, amazing way to keep getting messages all day long from your twin. So here we go. What is going on at the moment? Look at that strength. Just as I was coming to do this, the number 44 <laughs> and so is it a surprise that this is 44 uh so so this is just saying you have the strength look you're rooted to this beautiful planet that we are creating this new earth out of your strength out of your hand that's like literally lifting up this new earth which is again all kinds of gorgeous so 44 is the message so your true strength comes not from self-reliance alone but from a sincere faith in a higher power the strength to accomplish even the most daunting of tasks is yours at this time you can connect with and channel the power of the universe the strength card indicates that your ideas are being tested and refined and your relationships are being deepened no matter what happens nothing can move you off the course of evolution as the potency of your connections becomes more obvious, you are able to harness the creative energies that are available to you. Have courage and dive in, for magic is in the process of finding a form to take. When you remember that real strength comes from a combination of your efforts and a reliance on a higher power working through you, all is possible and you can do anything now. Wow. <clears throat> so, um... There is, I was talking about the higher power and the song the other day, the um, Coldplay song, which has just come out with this uh, higher power song and it's just like being played everywhere at the moment. <clears throat> and, um, you know, just to remember that that's what we are here doing, you know, basically connecting to our higher power, connecting to the higher power that wants to show us the way, the higher power that's connected to everything, to the golden energy, and just to always remember that that's what we're, you know, that's what we're here to do as a twin flame group, twin flame couple, twin flame source of energy, powering this light. And uh, just to remember that we're doing that collectively all together. So I'm intrigued. Let's have a look at what the Divine Love Letter books say. So what is the message that they want to give? And it is number 44. So remember, it's teamwork that makes the dream work. So, I don't keep you in the dark. Surely you know who I am by feeling me in your heart. I'm in my own dark at the moment. I'm on my own journey to find my own light, to find my own way back to my heart. So please believe in me. Trust in our heart. Trust in our connection. I need to feel that compassion, that knowing, that love that is pulling me out of my own darkness, my shadows that have blocked me for such a long time. I'm still fighting my shadow, but I am making headway. I can see the light. The light is there and I'm heading towards it. Trust in our journey and trust that we are in the tunnel together, helping and guiding each other to the light. Okay, so there is that sense of like, you know, we've all been there. We've all felt those moments that we've been completely lost, don't know which way to turn and just kind of like, ah, oh, you know. So, and this is why it's saying you've got the strength, you know, you are here to be a sturdy, strong soul and to remember that, that again is part of your soul mission on this earth, you know, um, part of your soul mission is to be a way shower. So just shine your light, focus on you, focus on the beautiful ray of crystalline starlight that you are, that we are together. Move out of the physical awareness and move deep into the essence of our spirit. Our souls entwined together in a pillar of light, connected by a heartbeat, connected by a beautiful heartbeat in these wonderful bodies of ours. Feel the eternalness of our beating hearts, always beating together since creation began. Focus on that. 
Focus on light. Focus on our journey together through the eons and passageways of time. Remember, ours is an eternal love. Oh, oh. all the feels. All the feels. It's like the fact that the, the card is about the trees as well because I do a crystal grid all based around the forest lovers entwined together for eternity around the oak tree. And recently I've had emails and sort of contact from people that have joined the grid through the years and just sort of, you know, coming back in just to say, you know, um, you've done healings and readings for me along the way and uh, there are still so many synchronicities that have happened and you know as we all grow you know as we all I kind of I guess get more attuned to the energy because that's all we're doing we're just attuning to the this new vibration and as we do that it creates we're not so you know kind of anxious we're kind of like more calm or kind of like go into that space of knowing and um, <clears throat> able to navigate through those energies much better that doesn't mean to say that that happens all the time <laughs> you know there's still moments of you know complete you know I don't need to say because we're all on this path together so you know, there are times when you just think, can I possibly go on any longer? This is just too long. And then other times you just trust in the bigger divine picture and you're like, okay, no, I know that this is all part of my soul growth and I trust and I dig deep and I believe that I'm rooted into the power of the universe. Just like, the, actually, just like that strength card showed. So, last word, last one is... Book three, I'm here for you, I'm here for us. It may seem like I've gone off the boil for a while, and I have, I kind of got, got lost in my dark thoughts. Lots of past hurts and insecurities coming up to the surface. It's about my insecurities of not being man enough. I've always wanted to be a macho man, but I've never been, and I've put myself down. But I don't wanna ruin my life, or your life. I'm so sorry for putting you through my shadow. I've let my own shadow dull your shine, dull our shine, and now I want us to shine bright, bright like the North Star. Right, well, just as, you know, because this relationships and all of this is just breaking down templates of, you know, old social norms, and, you know, one of the songs that's going on in my head at the moment is uh, The Cure, Boys Don't Cry, and, you know, so much of how you know, historically boys have been brought up to not share in their emotions, to suppress their emotions, to suppress their feelings. And uh, feelings are scary because they've never been shown or taught how to deal with them. Of course, that's a massive generalization, but of, you know, on the whole, if we are in these dynamics, then that's because we're here to heal each other and to, you know, accept each other for all that we are. And that means all of the insecurities, all of the, uh, the, the healing that needs to happen, all of the, the imperfections uh, that make us who we are. And they're not imperfections, are they? They're, we're just all, you know, bits of energy, all made up of different experiences, different past lives, different learnings, you know, all depending on what our soul purpose is. So I'm going to finish just by pulling a quick... Let's have a look. What's the message they want to give? Along with strength, it is follow the compass, the higher power. How brilliant. So that's the message for today. If you would like to have a healing, reading, a channeling, or to get into my books, please do. All details are in the description box below the video below. But in the meantime, if you're waiting for a service from me, then just trust that everything happens in divine timing. I am guided to, to do them when I'm told to. And then, I don't know how it happens, but always it's like miraculous divine timing. So, there we go. That's the message for today. Hope that helps. Hope everyone's doing all right out there. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow with another message. But in the meantime, I hope you stay well, stay bright, stay switched on to the light. See ya. Bye.